workshops and activities that were scheduled for the 2005 Achievers Program. After attending the initial orientation, the Achievers participated in a two-day retreat. The first day was spent at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, and the second day was spent at the Overrod Center. The retreat gave the Achievers an opportunity to actively interact, to bond with each other, and to get to know one another. A few weeks after the retreat, we participated in a personal goal workshop. The purpose of this workshop was to establish our own personal goals and to focus on our own personal goals. We were taught strategies on how to realize and meet these goals. The next workshop involved improving written and oral communication skills. This very important workshop emphasized the necessity of writing and speaking correctly that a lazy tongue and a lazy pen can keep us from realizing our career goals. The wellness workshop was one to remember. We were put through a vigorous workout at a local YMCA and were given good tips on health and wellness. The drug and alcohol abuse workshop was another valuable experience. The speakers at this workshop were Newcastle County, police officers, and they gave us a visual presentation of the horrors of drug and alcohol abuse. It was not a pretty picture. An educational and friend trip that we went through was when we went to Washington, D.C., and we were taken on a heritage trip. During this trip, we visited many historical sites and learned about many positive people who helped to pave the way of the black legacy. Our financial Responsibility Workshop was another worthwhile and learning experience. In this workshop, we learned the importance of making good decisions about spending and saving money. We were taught how to build good credit and how to properly invest. We were strongly cautioned to watch out for those little monsters that we all know as credit cards. The Women's and Heritage Walk also guided us through the streets of the woman, of women, where we experienced the rich culture of the past. The last two workshops that we went to dealt with the social etiquette and the sexual responsibility. These, these two workshops similarly prepared us for the public. The social etiquette workshop focused on personality, good manners, and dining etiquette. The sexual responsibility workshop while making us a little uncomfortable, at times gave us much to think about. The teachings of the Achievers Program have given us new knowledge that we, were, we wouldn't be able to go throughout our lives with. One of the keys to success is, of course, having the opportunity, but the master key is being prepared when the opportunity comes. As a result, of participating in the Achievers program, we have obtained many keys to assist us in unlocking the doors to success. Thank you. Good evening. Family members, loved ones, parents, to the Wilmington chapter of the Lynx, and also to the members of the Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. I would like to take time out to thank God for allowing all of us to be here on this occasion. My Achievers for giving me a very very memorable six months as your president, <laughs> and to all the parents who have helped and supported us through this program. When I first heard of the Achievers Inc. The program last year, it was something I wanted to become a part of because of what it stands for, which is promoting excellence in African American young men. Now that this program is coming to a close, it truly has been an enriching experience for myself. Throughout this challenging six months, this program was filled with workshops and activities that not have only helped us reach our educational goals, but to understand where we as black men come from culturally. The workshops and the activities focus on such areas as goal setting, leadership, community service, family values, sexual responsibility, career planning, and more. Another reason why I wanted to participate in such a prestigious program such as this, is because it gives the opportunity for scholarships for post-secondary education for graduating high school students who need financial assistance to further their education. 
What I enjoyed most about the program was the opportunity to fellowship with other, other young men who are doing something with their life instead of getting caught up in society's statistics. Young men that have helped each other achieve in and outside of the program by holding each other accountable for not only their schoolwork, attitude, but actions as well. As an achiever, one of the main factors in doing so is to achieve in every aspect of your life, which we are doing right now. We all have dedicated ourselves to completing this program and all of the necessary components as well such as the essays, community service, all the advertisements we sold, the weekly Sunday meetings, and dance practices that I'm pretty sure all of us will remember. <laughs> Achievers, I encourage you to always keep your zeal and passion to succeed. Achievers, I charge you all with being the next businessmen and fathers and role models that will make a difference in someone's life. Be the individual who does not give up hope and quit on their dreams so that eventually, one day, they would be in a place and position to give back to others less fortunate, such as the hungry or homeless, or even to some young people around your way that you might know who might need a positive father figure in their life. Achievers, I will leave you today with a piece of information that I apply to my life daily from our goal setting workshop. A goal is an aim or purpose for which a person strives. Goals give you something to look forward to. Goals give your life direction. Achieving your goal is a key to happiness. Thank you. The presentation of 2005 Achievers will be conducted by Lucy McLean, president of the Wilmington Chapter of Links Incorporated, and Daryl Parson, hallmark of the Wilmington Chapter of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Our first achiever. Our first achiever is David Adams. David will be a senior at William Penn High School. Following graduation from William Penn, David plans to attend the University of Delaware and major in psychology. He looks forward to becoming a successful school counselor and being involved with the educational and personal development of students. One of his goals is to become an active role model in the African American community, assisting and motivating youth to strive for academic success. David is the son of Janice and James Green. His attendant is Nicole Wright. Ramon Banks is a 2005 graduate of Christiana High School. In the fall, Ramon will attend the University of Delaware and major in computer engineering. His career goal is to become a computer engineer. His long-term goal is to own and operate his own wholesale computer business. Ramon is the son of David and Phyllis Green. His attendant is Brittany Glanton. of the Charter School of Wilmington. In the fall, Andrew will travel to Sweden with the American Field Service. September 2006, he will begin his studies at the University of Delaware and major in international relations with plans to continue his travel as opportunities arise. Andrew's career goal includes working with the Foreign Service and hopefully one day becoming an ambassador, promoting world peace. Andrew is the son of Laura and Kimball Berg. His attendant is Gina Fletcher. Trevor Cooper will be a senior at Mount Pleasant High School. After graduating from Mount Pleasant High School, 
Trevor plans to attend Howard University to study music and computer science. His ambition is to teach music and eventually become known as an outstanding musician. Another career consideration would be to work for a major corporation as a computer scientist. Trevor is the grandson of Ernestine and Homer Graham. His attendant is Candace Ward. of Mount Pleasant High School. Gregory will enroll in Delaware State University in the fall and major in journalism and minor in advertising. He aspires to establish and own his own advertising business and eventually pursue his dreams of becoming a writer. Dale Gregory Dale is the son of Gregory and Cheryl Dale. His attendant is Chanel Brod Bordley, sorry. Christopher Drummer is a 2005 graduate of Newark High School. In the fall, Christopher will enroll in the University of Delaware and major in biology. He plans to pursue a career in bioimaging. As a personal goal, he would like to use his education personal teachings to influence other African-American youth to become productive citizens. Christopher is the son of Charles and Linda Drummond. His attendant is Danita Clark. Mark doctor at the Children's Hospital. His focus would be on the care and medical concerns of needy children. Amir is the son of Victoria and Orlando Garcia. His attendant is Monica Boston. aspires to attend law school and become a successful lawyer. His personal goal is to make effective use of his education by becoming a productive citizen in his community. Christian is the son of Herbert and Rochelle Harvey. His attendant is Jasmine Harvey. becoming a productive citizen. James is the son of Brenda and Willie Hatcher. His attendant is Lachelle Walters. Following graduation from William Penn, Dominique plans to attend the Baltimore International College School of Culinary Arts and eventually study abroad. He envisions being the head chef in his personally owned restaurant. Dominique is the son of Tiffany McCrary Davis and Bernard Heyman II. His attendant is Felicity Crockett.
Michael Hopper will be a senior at Del Castle Technical High School. Following graduation from high school, Michael plans to attend Maryland State University and major in architectural engineering. He envisions establishing his own real estate business. Michael is the son of V. Renee and Michael Hopper Sr. His attendant is Angela Johnson. senior at Brandywine High School. Upon graduation from high school, Brian plans to attend Howard University and major in law. He looks forward to a successful career in law and to becoming a productive community leader. Brian is the son of Rachel and Joseph Howe. His attendant is Siobhan Taylor. at Caravelle Academy. After graduating from high school, Brendan plans to attend Florida A&M University and major in architecture. His career goal is to become a distinguished architect designing office buildings and homes. A personal goal is to become a successful and positive role model in the community in order to give back to those less fortunate and to help set the younger generation on the path to success. Brendan is the son of Joy and Kirby Hudson. His attendant is Tiara Tillman. Charles McKinney IV is a graduate of Concord High School. After graduating from high school, Charles plans to attend Immaculata University and major in international business. He would like to continue studying until he earns a doctoral degree in business. Charles envisions a career as a global entrepreneur and eventually fulfilling his dream of becoming a professional poet. Charles is the son of Ruth and Charles McKinney. His attendant is Danielle Boyster. David Mitchell will be a senior at the Charter School of Wilmington. After graduating from high school, David plans to attend college and eventually major in law. He has aspirations of owning a law firm. His personal goal is to achieve financial stability and maintain a strong sense of purpose. David is the son of Cheryl and Daniel Mitchell. His attendant is Tiana Lewis. Vaughn Morgan will be a senior at the Cab Calloway School of Arts. After graduating from high school, Vaughn plans to enroll in Hampton University and major in architectural engineering. His career goals become affiliated with a large engineering firm, learning all that he can to prepare him for launching his own company. His personal goal is to achieve financial stability and maintain a strong sense of purpose. Vaughn is the son of Janine Brown. His attendant is Shania Garland. Morrison 
is a 2005 graduate of Del Castle High School. Upon graduation from high school, Devin plans and looks forward to attending Delaware State University and majoring in mass communication with a minor in music. His career goal is to become a technical engineer in the arts area. Devin would like to eventually publish his own magazine. He anticipates that his love of poetry will motivate him to become a great poet and a writer. Devin is the son of Audrey Morrison. His attendant is Tiffany Everett. college registration uh, responsibilities. However, he's a 2005 graduate of Glasgow High School. Simon will attend ITT Technical Institute in the fall and major in mechanical engineering. His career goal is to become a prominent engineer with plans to one day have his own company. His personal goal is to develop qualities that will assist him in training, leading, and motivating young people. Simon is the son of Jane Robinson. Mike. Michael Payne will be a senior at the Charter School of Wilmington. After graduating from high school, Michael would like to attend Florida A&M University or the University of Miami and major in architectural engineering. His career goal is to become an architect and design office buildings and homes. His personal goal is to become a successful and positive role model in the community and motivating youth to strive for success. Michael is the son of Linda and Michael Payne Sr. His attendant is Stacy Willis. Angelo Presley will be a senior at Christiana High School. Angelo plans to attend college where he can receive quality training in recording engineering. His ultimate goal is to build a career in the recording industry. Angelo is the son of Joe Levent Preston. His attendant is Jordan Milton. and major in journalism. He eventually wants to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. Samuel is challenging himself to be successful in whatever he endeavors and whatever he undertakes in order to have a positive impact in society. Samuel is inside of him and moves through Fiji. His attendant is Reva, Reva Potter. Samuel Seegers is a 2005 graduate of Concord High School. Samuel plans to attend Hampton University and major in marketing. His primary career objective is to own a successful business. A personal goal is to acquire good business management skills and become a productive leader in the community. Samuel is the son of Iverna and Samuel Seegers Sr. His attendant is Kimberly Cephas. Stevenson 
is a 2005 graduate of Howard High School. In the fall, Leon plans to attend Towson University and major in communications. His ultimate career goal is to become a renowned sportcaster. Leon is the son of Marietta and Leon Stevenson Sr. His attendant is Carlin Harry. James Taylor is a 2005 graduate of Alexis I. DuPont High School. In the fall, James will attend the Berklee College of Music and major in music. His career objective is to teach in the music field for a while and eventually become a popular personality in the music industry. James is the son of Katina and Charles Powell and Nolan Michaels. His attendant is Tamara Moody. Walker will be a senior at Christiana High School. After graduation from high school, Dominic plans to enroll in Virginia Tech University and study computer science. His ultimate career goal is to own a computer software company. If he continues to excel in football, he envisions becoming a professional football player. Dominic is the son of Diane Smith and William Walker. His attendant is Ravana LeBlanc. David Watkins, who is senior at St. Elizabeth High School. David plans to enroll in Georgetown University and major in mechanical engineering. His career goal is to become a successful engineer. His personal goal is to become a productive businessman in the community and set a positive example for you. David is the son of Yvette and David Watkins Sr. His attendant is Carla Eaton. <laughs> Thank you. 